and the debate on human rights versus Asian values thing. So, first of all, human rights as a concept came after Second World War and human rights are, cons are primarily supposed to be the rights of minorities. For example, Jews were minorities in Germany. So, minority word does not represent just numerical minority. Minority means anyone who is vulnerable section. So, from that perspective, you can talk women also as minorities, tribals as minorities. So, there can be various groups. The idea is the protection of the rights of vulnerable sections is the theme of human rights. And the idea is to protect the dignity from power. Fine. A state's power, power of majority, power of money, power of culture, any such thing. That is the main theme. But the idea of human rights is contested from the very beginning. So, what are human rights? So, prominent human rights are which are mentioned in Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Now, Universal Declaration of Human Rights has been pronounced from the platform of United Nations. If you look about the immediate historical context of United Nations platform or United Nation. So, the main force behind creation of United Nations has been USA. Fine. And initially, United Nations did not have the legitimacy and it was seen as a platform to advance USA's hegemony. And at the same time, Cold War was also going on and uh, there was a conflict between the liberal versus socialist world. And in socialist world, it is against capitalism and in socialist world, people do not have those rights especially civil rights which are present in liberal countries. For example, one of the most important civil right is right to, is right property. to property, okay? freedom of speech and expression. So, these rights are not present. So, first socialist countries, they have accused that it is a new and soft way of advancing USA's hegemony and uh, socialist bloc did not recognize these set of rights because they were primarily based on the liberal idea of rights. So, very late when there was a thaw in Cold War that the eastern countries started recognizing. That is why we say that in 1966 convention on civil, there was convention on civil political rights, but also convention on social and economic rights came, which is based on socialistic ideas. So, when you will study international relations, you will understand from 62 onwards or from 66 till 1979, there is a thaw period in Cold War known as the Thont period when East and West they reconciled to some extent. And after 90s, the collapse of USSR ended the debate between liberalism and socialism. But because of re emergence of the ideas like or emergence of the ideas like clash of civilizations. Again, certain sections of international community started looking human right regime 
through the prism of cultural imperialism and imposition of western values so it has always remained a highly contested and the reason is that it is primarily based on the ideology of liberalism so like the leaders of southeast asia especially malaysia malaysia has always been at the forefront in opposition to us fine so malaysians they started talking about asian values and such conception of human rights is not in sync with the asian values and attempt of western imperialism so later on like scholars like amartya sen they challenged the idea of western values uh, uh, asian values amartya sen says asia is not one single entity that you can say asian values for example the confucian values can be very different from indian asian values and it is said that a sort of asian values thing is nothing but a justification of authoritarianism theek hai to ye iska main debate hai jisme asian values aata hai asian values wale cultural relativist perspective 